All right, y'all, for this drill, this one is gonna be our connection ball drill. Most of you have seen these at this point. This is a tap 12 inch conditioning ball. People call them connection balls. I love these things, use them all the time. For this drill though, we are gonna talk about connection with it. And we're gonna create space between the chest and the front arm. Okay, so we're gonna take this ball and we're gonna put it on our chest and then with the front arm and bottom hand kind of holding it. Now you don't want to get in here and squeeze this in, okay? We don't want to have that pressure. You just want light pressure on this. You're going to set up just like you normally would, okay? So into launch position, front foot, even with the ball, all right? The spacing here is critical. We want to form this box with the back, our front forearm, and our front upper arm, all right? Just like we've done before, we're gonna get turning slowly, get that knob in the direction of the ball. If I was going to get disconnected here, okay, this would come out and I would feel that ball start to drop, okay? I kick out my hands and that ball drops out, okay? All things that we don't wanna see. We want that ball to stay connected into the turn, knob to the ball, and then go ahead and make your swing, okay? With two hands, that ball is going to stay connected to me. All right, that's all connection is. If you did not have that ball there and you have connection problems, you could have people that come down this way. You have kids that really lose that barrel. All right, so using the tap 12 inch conditioning ball, great way to work on connection. 